Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. This is Jennifer on November 2nd, voting day. I have Hermione here with me again. She's being a pest, so sorry if she keeps walking in front of the camera. I did actually finally manage to get a few things done, so I thought I would share them. <clears throat> um, not too much, but every little bit counts. Um, I finally got to make one of these little cauldron pincushions. Uh, Ofen Jen has a tutorial on her website on how to make these. I wanted to get a couple done and give them away as gifts before Halloween, but this is the only one I got done. And I'm going to keep it for myself because it's just so adorable. So I like that. <clears throat> I got that done. I uh, got my cross stitch back from my neighbor and she framed it for me. So this is what this looks like. She, I let her pick out the frame and I told her kind of what I had in mind. And I think she did perfectly. It's kind of got a silvery gold look to it. Um, I did the gray background because there's gray in all of these. So there's a big glare on there. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So this will go on one of the walls in here to go with the rest of the collection. Um, I finally got around to doing some Christmas gifts and as my son's in preschool I wanted to do something for his teachers for him to give them as Christmas gifts and so I got half of it done there's one teacher per classroom and then two assistants so each one of them are going to get an apple dishcloth it's it's supposed to look like an apple that's cut in half. This is a pattern I got off of Ravelry. And these are so thick. They're, they could probably be used as pot holders too. But I'm just, I got two red ones. And then I made a green one as well. But um, I can't remember the name of the pattern. But if you just type in the search on Ravelry apple dishcloth, I think this is one of like two or three that comes up and this one is a free pattern. And I just love it. Um, she said to use acrylic but I used cotton because I like the feel and look and I, I like I actually like working with cotton so so those are those. I'm going to make some towels to go with it. I just haven't got around to it. And then the other Christmas gift I started is kind of in pieces still but this is um, a portion of it. It's called Crack the Whip. It's by um, Mary Hirschleb Designs. She's out of Hudson, Wisconsin. But there's going to be three penguins. The third penguin is still in pieces. Um, this is all I got so far. There's five other pieces to paper piece. It's a paper piece pattern. And this is the first pattern I've done um, that's not a Harry Potter paper piece pattern. And so when I was doing the Harry Potter paper piecing, I'm like, oh, I love paper piecing. But I wasn't sure if I was just loving it because it was Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter. But now I can say that I love paper piecing for sure because as soon as I started doing this, I felt like I was at home. So it's just, it's great. So I love it. It's going to be really cute, I think, when it's done. Hopefully I'll have that done by next week. And that's it. So you guys all have a great week and I hope you all went out and voted. So bye.